Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls. Today I'm going to show you how to make a acetate easel circle card. And they look like that. And I did two different kinds. This is my Christmas card that I did as a flat easel. This one's actually a shaker element on the inside. You can see the foam tape there on the inside. All right, let's get started. Well, we're going to start with just a white bl card blank. This this one is nine and three quarters by four and a half, scored at four and three quarters, because that's the size of my biggest, or that's big enough to hold my largest circle die. If you have a, sm we're going to use um, circle nesting dies. If you have bigger nesting dies or smaller nesting dies, then you need to measure this because you want this to fit onto that blank where it's hanging off the top. So. You want to leave, see how it's over the fold? This is where it's folded in half. So you're going to cut through two layers, but you want it to go over the top of that fold just a little. So just about like that. You don't want it too tight because if you make it just there, then you're not going to have enough card stock there to hold it together. So you want a little bit, but not too much. So we're going to tape that down. some low tack tape. I'm going to tape it twice. I'm going to try to tape onto the stuff that's going to be thrown away. So in case it does stick, you're not ruining your card. Although this is going to get cut out anyway. So we're just going to cut it. See how it's got, there's my cutting blade right here. And there's a little bit hanging over. So let me run that through my Gemini. And get the tape off. And that's not a multimedia die, so it's, and this is two layers of all purpose cardstock, so it's pretty heavy weight. But it cut right through. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to trim that, but it cut right through. Okay, so now you've got essentially a round card blank. So it opens at the top. Now you're going to cut an aperture in the top, but not in the bottom. So you want to open this up and then use your next smaller circle nesting die and come down one size and just center that up right there. going to run that through but make sure you leave it open because you only want to cut out that aperture okay get my that out of there nesting die over there fourth all right now you've got the basics of your card and it looks a little strange but that's okay then you're going to take that largest nesting die that you used for your card blank and you're going to cut um, a circle in acetate okay so this was from the largest nesting die so it's the same size as that then you're going to take your two nesting dies together and you're going to cut three circles Two in, well, you can cut all three of them in, in you know, your nice cardstock if you want. But um, one, this one's basically just going to be for a little bit added strength. So it's not going to show. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the nice card. And I'm, I don't want to waste my, my gold mirror card. So I cut two in the gold mirror card and one in the plain white card. And we're going to sandwich the acetate between the white and the gold mirror just like that and that's going to create the front of your easel card so get some you can use red liner tape or whatever i usually use tacky glue um, actually i'm going to put a little bit of dotty tape pen 
just here and there. And I do this just to kind of help it instant grab. And then the, the tacky glue will actually hold it well. Center up our acetate on there. Press it down. Now in the birthday card version of this that I made, let me grab that and I'll show it to you. In this one, I actually did a shaker on the top. So this part, this is actually a shaker. Um, I didn't get enough foam in there, so they don't shake around too much. But you can see that at this point, instead of just putting that extra piece of um, of golden of linen card on there, I actually put foam tape in and then another layer of acetate and then the card. And then that way you can make a shaker in the middle. If you don't care about that, if you don't, I'm not going to make a shaker out of this one, so I'm just going to make it flat. But this is the point where if you want to make a shaker, cut another piece of acetate, put foam on here, put your shaker bits in, your acetate on, and then this on the top. And then, then from then on, it's exactly the same process. But this one, I'm not going to make a shaker, so. But if you want to, that's the way you do it. And it's not any different other than that. You're basically just going to make a, a shaker element. So we'll sandwich this on top. Just center it up. And now you have a piece of acetate sandwiched between a nicer piece of card and then, you know, a, you can use mirror card there or whatever, but I just used plain white card just for, because it's basically just for some rigidity. Now you're going to come in here and this is going to create your easel, right? So you have to get this on there and do this, but then you got to attach this onto the easel. So how you do that, take a scoreboard and we're going to score. So if you put the, um, the edge on there, you can see this is about a four and a half inch circle. So somewhere around two, two and a quarter inches, we're going to score. And you don't, you want to be careful because that's not all that sturdy, but you want to just get it a little bit of a, a score in there. Then you give it a little bit of a burn or a little bit of a bend so you know where it is. And that creates your easel. Now, this is going to go, let me get that out of the way. This is going to glue this half. Is going to glue on there and then this is going to glue onto those two pieces like that so we're going to glue this on just that half and then we're going to bend this too so maybe it'd be easier to show you so let's start with some glue and we're going to put glue just up to the score line towards the fold all the way around center that on Okay, that looks pretty good. Hold that, tack that down. Now here, when this one bends down, this one's going to bend up. So right at that bend, 
I'm going to kind of put a little bit of a bend in this one. And you could have scored it on the scoreboard, but I find it's almost easier to do it this way because then this piece is going to mount on there. And then it'll go flat and it'll sit up and be an easel. So, and you just want to center that on. Now the other option is you could have glued this half on there first and then that half on to there, but whichever, doesn't much matter. And if you, if you didn't get the score line in exactly halfway, which I didn't because my die isn't, because it's over the edge, it's not exactly four and a half inches. So I'll show you how to, you just kind of are going to finagle it around. So you can see that there's kind of a little bit of a gap right here and right here. And that's going to give me a little bit of wiggle room to make sure I get this on straight. So this is going to go on and you want to line it up. And you can start at the top or the bottom, but you want to line it up. And then you want to make sure that, see how this is, is up too high. You want to just kind of pull that down and that's going to stretch open that seam just a little bit, but that's okay. Cause that's how you're going to get it. Perfect. And then you can just bend it down and there you go. And there's your easel card, just like that. And it's, um, you can add another piece of cardstock in here if you want, like another, a couple more of the rounds, if you think like someone's going to play with it a lot, because it's not super sturdy. It's not, you know, I mean, obviously I can pick it up and move it around, but um, it is a fairly small piece of cardstock. The other thing you can do if you want is you can add another piece of acetate in here and then score across the acetate but I didn't like the looks of the line there on the acetate. So I didn't want to do that. Now, before, now all it is, the card blank, basically the card is done. It's just time to decorate. So I'm going to start with, um, so on my inside layer, I've got the white, I've got a piece of gold, and I've got a piece of prettier cardstock. That's not bad. Oops. So let's put that down, glue that down. Up there. And then I want to decorate the front and for that I've got some uh, poinsettias that I made and some leaves and a sentiment happy holidays that I cut so let's start with our poinsettias which I think I'm going to use my 3D glue gel gives me a little more time to move things around, get them where I wanted. That one's on there. Okay. A little bit of 3D glue gel. I made these poinsettias with the um, vintage Christmas dies, and I made these out of um, just out of red. It's actually red paper, 
it's a fairly lightweight, it's like 60 pound paper. And then, um, which I really like for the paper flowers because they're, it's easier to manipulate and roll the edges or bend or whatever. And then just put a little bit of dark red in the center with my um, Spectrum Noir pens. Yeah, I'll put some lovely leaves in there. And this is where the 3D glue gel is really nice because you can pick things up and maneuver things where you want them and then put it back down and Okay, let's get back here now. Um, then I've got my Happy Holidays sentiment. And I like to put glue on these because they're so fine. I could have put it on my Xyron before I cut it, but I forgot to. So... The next best thing for me is I just put a little bit of glue on my hand. And just sort of dab it on. That's usually enough. But just be aware that the glue will show on the acetate, so once you put it down, don't try to lift it up and or you're going to see the remnants of the glue where you had it so kind of put it on and commit to it And there's your, uh, I'm trying to decide if I need another leaf in there. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. I think I want that one. Oops. Okay. And there now you need a stopper. Um because otherwise this is just gonna fall down. So I did a sentiment here and I like to to mat these and but since I just I don't have a matte layer die for that um, the easiest way to do it is to cut it you can do a like a shadow layer but I actually like to do it this way so if you cut that in half then you can line this up over the top and you get a bit of a matte layer without having to have a matte layer die or without having to fussy cut one and it looks pretty good it's not perfect but it looks pretty good now we need to put that on with some foam pads because it needs to be if it's going to be a stopper it's going to be raised up
And when I use foam pads, I always put a little bit of tacky glue on them to help hold the foam pads. Raise this up, decide where you want your stopper to go. There. And then I've got a couple little holly sprigs and then I put some little red glitter glue on there to make like berries and it I think it's still wet so I'm going to be careful with those. And but I'm going to put them on each side of my sentiment. like that and you're done and you could write your sentiment on the back or if you wanted to you know do a plain layer here um, I kind of wish now that I'd done it I, that I would have cut the pattern paper in the larger size to fit onto the bottom so instead of the white it was the pattern paper and then the gold and then you could put white on the inside and then you could write on it if you want I'm not going to flatten that because those like I said that glitter glue is still wet but there you go nice easel card hope you enjoyed that um, and uh, that you try it yourself it's it's actually pretty easy to do it's not that hard to do um, so give it a try thanks for watching bye